Alright, hey, good evening everyone. Here we are at South Georgia Technical College in America's Georgia. This is the class, so we're going to fan around and get the class in the picture. Y'all smile for the camera. Alright, hey, we live in a great country, don't we? Yep. Have you ever been to another place in the world? If you go somewhere else, it'll make you appreciate living here. America leads the world economically. Uh, America is a great military power, a great political power, and the United States leads the world in many ways. However, there's one area that the United States is not currently leading the world, and that is in the area of educating our children. I have some information I want to share with you tonight that I think will be useful to you. Some of the countries that are currently leading the world in education in the field is um, Communist China, Japan, Hong Kong, Germany, as, fell, as far as, um, as well as um, Soviet bloc countries like Hungary. And I believe the reason the success of their students in their countries is greatly dependent upon the fact that they allow school choice programs. I mean, they actually allow the, the parents to choose the schools that the students go to. I um, currently have four children. One is in public school and three um, are homeschooled now and had previously been in private school. Because our country was founded on the principles of individual freedom of choice, parents should have the right to choose where their children are educated. Today we're going to look at school vouchers and how they provide student, um, and how they provide, um, they provide important school vouchers will provide public school and improvement in public school performance. School vouchers will provide a, uh, improvement in student achievements. They also provide financial benefits to the families and to the school system, and they also provide the parents the right to choose. Well, student achievement test scores is one of the areas that shows how these voucher systems help and are a benefit. In several urban schools, African American students who receive vouchers for private school, um, the, the first year, their national percentage ranking points went up 3.3%, and they ranked as high as 6.6 .6 increase in areas of math and reading, and that was just in the first year. An improvement in graduation rates. 2008 study ranked 205 disadvantaged students who received private vouchers to attend a Catholic school and their graduation rating went up to 98%. In 2003, Milwaukee study uh, showed schools in Milwaukee had vouchers to attend private school, private high schools. They had a graduation rate of 64%. You might say, well, only 64%? Well, compared to their counterparts in the public school the same year, which had a 36% graduation rate. It's almost double. Important um, to parents, the parents of scholarship students uh, have a much higher level of satisfaction with the education that their children receive. Important uh, improved public school performance. Test scores also show for public schools that charter schools in uh, Michigan and Arizona found that public schools exposed to a competitive market actually had an improvement in test scores. And what happens is when schools are in a competitive market, they actually start um, performing education at a higher level. Parental satisfaction. In order to retain students in those school systems, parents have to uh, schools have to please the parents, so they increase the level of education. Financial benefits. Um, students' families like mine. Right now, I pay taxes for the school system. In a voucher system, I, at being homeschooling, would have some kind of compensation to help with the education of my own children, which now that total financial burden is upon me. Uh, benefits to the, the education system, it, it would require public schools to be more um, um, studious with their money that they have. 
It supports parents' rights. It gives parents the ability to choose where their kids go to school regardless of income. They can choose public school, private school, or homeschool. And parents are able to decide, um, have more input on what their children are taught as far as situations sometimes now that exist where you have little to no input. In a voucher system, you have a lot of input. Actions we need to take, what do we need to do? We need to support um, legislation that would bring about school vouchers for every person. You can do that by contacting your congressman um, and emphasizing that you would like to see school voucher systems. You can do it by signing petitions and electing uh, public officials who support your views. What do we do? We act now. Um, in order to improve the quality of education of students in the U.S., I challenge you and I encourage you to make your voice heard that we would adopt a, a countrywide um, school choice voucher system for every family in America and we would um, empower America to become a, a um, ranking country in the world market as far as education goes. Thank you.